Hey there, Brewberries. What's up and welcome to a new series on the channel. So we put a, a poll a little while ago about uh, a game to replace Garden Story because it's not performing that well. So I wanted to move on and do something that y'all might be more interested in. And the poll won with No Man's Sky coming out on top, which is actually a game I have never played. I have owned for a while. Uh, there was a bit of a debacle when this game first released, but from what I've heard and seen, I think that it has been updated to the point where it is a much, much better, more enjoyable game. Uh, so we're going to give it a whirl and see what happens. I've never played it, so who knows what this is going to be like. I think it's going to be fun. And so this is probably going to be a once a week type of thing for a little bit. And we'll just go from there. So we're going to go ahead and do the play game. And we've got these different options here. And what I'm thinking, just from reading this, is, you know, I would do survival. But I think normal already has survival in it. Uh, this has more hazards, smaller inventory, and increased cost. That just doesn't sound pleasant. So I'm just going to go with normal. The infinite journey, explore and survive in a boundless universe. Sounds more enjoyable. Let's get on into it. I think this is going to be fun. I have honestly no idea, like literally no idea as to what in the world to expect from this. I, I have never once remotely considered playing this game. So it's going to be good, I think. super laggage okay well hopefully it's not like that for the rest of this but oh I'll, I'll meet you whenever okay now we're loading in good i was like how much more of this am i trying to do begin initialization let's do it All right. Interesting. We're on copious 11. Copious amounts of mushrooms. Oh, we got a jetpack. That's cool. Oh, it's like third person. What is the green around me? Uh, I'm uh, okay, so did you immediately put me on a toxic planet that I'm going to start dying? It kind of feels like that is what happened. I feel like I'm in a toxic environment. <laughs> did it start me off in a place that I actually can't survive? I don't really know. Environment hostile, hazard protection failing, protection. Recommendation scan to locate survival. Okay, C. The scanner is a personal service radar device. It releases a high energy pulse that reveals any critical survival resources in the immediate area. This technology is critically damaged. Ferrite dust to repair. Gather ferrite dust. Is there a way to zoom out or anything for my character? No. Okay. Uh, I don't know what ferrite dust is, man. Extract ferrite dust by shooting small rocks. Use that. I did it. Are we getting ferrite dust? Are you a rock? I swear to you, if I die just purely because I'm put down into this like environment, I really don't like how close I am to the camera. It's like I may just have to get used to it, but what is this? It's rocks. We're getting ferrite dust. This is interesting. Yes, I know. I'm taking toxic damage. I understand. You put me in a in a heinous spot, and I don't like it. All right, let's repair it. Okay. Scanner. Okay. 
technology has been repaired. Okay. Scan to locate sodium. Where's sodium? Found it. I'm sorry, my body. I'm getting destroyed by... I, this is, is... Is this really how we're going to start it off? We're going to start it off purely by... Please don't attack me, weird animal. Oh, do I just pick this up? Oh, you have to hold E. Recharge hazard system. Okay, what's happening? Recharge hazard protection with sodium. Recharge with the quick menu or in the inventory. Okay, hazard protection. Sodium. Uh. I don't know. Oh. Okay, so you have to recharge. Do you have to recharge every time, man? That's insane. Oh, there's sodium up there. That's good. How much sodium do we have? Charge equipment with sodium, sodium nitrate, and ion battery. Charge equipment with that stuff. Move technology. Okay. Uh, I want to see what's in this rock. Hey, reach the marked signal. Okay, we should we should probably just focus. Okay, where's the marked signal? This thing? Okay, signal source. Let's just let's just go over there. I man, I have no concept as to what in the world's happening. I <laughs> I really don't know. I don't have any idea what is happening in this game. I kind of want to shoot. Whoa! Oh, those are ships. I was like, what the heck? Okay. Uh, any sort of sodium around here? We could. Oh, I need the advanced mining laser. Sodium's up there. Oh, there's some sodium over here. Let's maybe get some sodium because we definitely, definitely want to make sure that we can have some. Wait, do I have a stamina bar? Oh, on the bottom right. Bottom right has stamina. Okay. Get this. I don't know what the ferrite dust does, but it seemed important. Man, this is going to be a game where I have to actually, like, really think and figure out what is important. Where is the sodium? There it is. Oh, no, I don't have to. I just grab it. Advanced mining laser needed. Hazard protection. New guide. Press escape to read more. Your exosuit will automatically deplo deploy hazard protection when required. Hazard protection is drained by exposure to radiation, planetary toxins, and extreme temperatures. When your exosuit's hazard protection system is drained, your shields will begin to take damage. Hazard protection will recharge automatically when the user is in a building, starship, or cave away from shelter. Hazard protection systems are recharged with sodium or various ion batteries. Sodium can be harvested from planetary flora as it as it and is found on all worlds. Pressing C will activate the scanner, locate nearby sodium. Ion batteries can be crafted from cobalt and ferrite. Okay, we should look out for cobalt then. Hazard systems can be recharged from the exosuit or via the quick menu. Acquire survival upgrades from technology merchants and planetary shops. Okay, let's take a look at this stuff. Okay, exploring on foot. In hazardous conditions, use caves and buildings to shelter and recharge your hazard protection using the multi-tool terrain manipulator to create your own shelter. Okay, I don't know how to do that, but we'll figure it out. We're still in the tutorial phase, I'm sure. And this, uh, the, whatever's happening in the music is epic sounding, but it's, uh, quite crazy. Uh, the jetpack can be used to cover difficult terrain. The jetpack recharges automatically while on the ground. The jetpack can be used to scale cliffs. Your jetpack can only be used in short bursts. Falling from great heights will cause damage. Save jetpack fuel to soften the impact. Okay. Smaller points of interest. Your compass is located on the top HUD. It will highlight nearby points of interest and mission objectives. Okay, I had to turn down the music. It was getting too crazy for me. A uh, signal booster constructed, and sure. Upgrading equipment, recipes, and blueprints. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second. Let's go to this because it looks like there's some stuff here. Let's get this hydrogen as well. Man, the music is just really loud. Does this, in are these, is it just this green environment that's like bad on me? 
or no? Can I get this? Oh, I can indeed. New item recorded. Ooh. Ooh, look, there's a ship. Is that our ship? It is falling, I know. I've reached it. What is it? Oh, it's in, in poor repair. Distress beacon. Scenario iteration 23118766 T deleted. Boundary separation failure. Vessel emptied cause. Intervention deliver transfer. Analysis fresh iteration generated anomaly containment prepared. Let's broadcast, I guess. Broadcast received. Travel anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position log. System integrity scan initialized. No concept of what that is. Investigate the crashed ship. I can indeed. It looks so crashed that it just like perfectly parked there. Iteration. Online. Atlas connection. Intermittent. Launch thrusters. Offline. Not good. Pulse engine. Offline. Also poor. I find myself alone on a strange planet, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of a before. Well, that's also worse. But this ship at least seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Uh, let's read the log. Log 4925A, unavailable, substituting data. Exosuit. Connected. Pilot should perform maintenance. Select a desired repair path. Uh, let's repair the ship system. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. That's good. I'm glad it's self-guided. Pulse engine starship flight booster provides space and atmospheric flight propulsion. System is highly damaged and requires metal plating and hermi her hermetic seal to repair. I thought it was going to say like hermeneutic. And that didn't seem to work. Hermetic seal metal plating. Got it. Launch thruster critically damaged. Okay. Press E to exit. Interesting. So I want to check and see. Firstly. Do we have this all set up? All right. Well, whatever. Restore point saved. Okay, recommendation, repair ship engines. Repairing the starship requires a mix of crafted products, salvaged items, and advanced refined substances. Oh, and cool, our biohazard thing is actually back up and recharged. So we need to repair the pulse engine with metal plating. Got it. Okay, we've collected enough. So tab to access inventory and then craft the empty slockets. Slockets? Sockets. Do the metal protection and do the pulse engine. Right. Component repaired. Okay. Component repaired. Damaged pulse engine. Got it. Man, the camera's a little strange. I have to get used to it because I keep. I've been playing Valheim since the update, uh, and we're not gonna continue the uh, the series on it. But I have been. Oh, let's test it. Oh, 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 that's cool. I like the jetpack. Uh, uh, partially complete. Board the starship and consult ship diagnostics. Okay. But the camera controls are different in like in all the games. I'm playing like Guild Wars is a little different than Valheim. Valheim's different than this game. Very interesting. Everything's functional. Starship still critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires hermetic seal. Well, I would like assistance because I don't know what a hermetic seal is. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. All right. Let us continue and E to exit. So this is where the hermetic seal blueprint is potentially. I appear inside the beacons housing as well as its distress broadcast unit. It contains a planetary chart. Take planetary chart. Very cool. All right, planetary chart recovered. Open the inventory to view data. Highlight the chart and use E to plot a route. Okay, open it and then use E to plot a route. E to plot a route. 
Whoa. This whole planet looks toxic. All right. Thankfully, it's just right there. Why is it falling? I don't want it to fall. Reach the mark coordinate. Got it. Okay, area discovered. Boyadex Marsh. Interesting. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Uh, the camera angle is a little strange. Is at least what I find. What's this? We got carbon. Are you sodium? Yes, you are. Let's grab you. I don't want to die to poisoning like we almost did right out of the gate. Are there bad guys? I truly do not know if there are bad guys. Hello, spaceships. It's kind of weird because we're like crash landed, but we're not even like Ethereum rich thing. Incoming toxic rainstorm approaching. Well, that's just not good. I'm outside, so I don't know how to feel. Jet, jet pack power surge fading. Well, why? I haven't even used it. Well, I used it that one time, but. Oh no. Oh, so this is probably gonna make my toxicity go up. Wait for stamina to recharge, purchase stamina. Yeah, this is gonna, am I just gonna straight up die because of this? Probably, probably gonna die. That's okay. Let's, uh, recharge that, I guess a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna help us. It is active, but I uh, don't think we're gonna make it unless we can get to that building. This is so green, seek shelter in caves or buildings. Can I seek shelter under this plant? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Okay. I'm uh, not quite sure. There's not really anything going on in terms of a cave, so we're just gonna run to this. I think there's a building over here. So that's good. Uh, yeah, we're at like max toxicity, which is always good. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But this is a building, so we're gonna get inside. Woo! This is a fancy place. Can we sit down? We can indeed. Ah, wonderful. Let's just uh, get on up and see what's uh, going on here. Okay. Hollow archive. Access archive. Logs are corrupted. Convenient. No one. Making this recording a case. Leaving behind in the fabricator might be of some use this visor damage can't find ship let's just recover the supplies finishes and the machine words to life spitting out supplies i have the hermetic seal i need to prepare my ship whoever it was that led me here whoever left this message perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as i do now can i interact with any of this does not seem it is it raining Oh no. Okay, it's not raining anymore. That's good. Well, let's see what's in this building. Anything in here? What is this? Did navigation data. Use F to locate starship. The analysis visor is a planetary exploration device that locates and highlights nearby points of interest. It can also be used to analyze flora, fauna, and minerals. Analysis results in commercially valuable data as well as revealing additional resources. Yeah. Begin analysis visor installation. Open the tab to install analysis visor. Select empty, empty multi-tool slot with E to install. Okay. So this multi-tool slot with E analysis visor. 
cool. All components installed. Great. No concept. Mining beam. Energy. Charge equipment with carbon. Okay. Let's uh, charge. Okay, so you do gather carbon. Okay, so interesting. You do have to maintain. Can I interact with this? No. Okay. I think this was just there too. Warning: unable to locate ship. Carbon. Okay. Uh, uh, how did I do the scan again? There we are. So this is carbon, I think. This blue. Nope. That's deuterinamine. New item. Interesting. That did nothing. That does nothing as well. Okay. Any sort of carbon anywhere? How did I find... Hey there. Can I have some meaty chunks? Maybe it's bad that I'm doing this. I don't know. I just wanted some meaty chunks. Hello? What are you? I'm not a huge fan. So we're not going to do anything. Unidentified mineral. Where does carbon come from? Creature pellets required. Ah, this gives carbon. Slowly but surely, we are gathering. Beautiful. We got plenty of carbon. Okay, we can craft it. So go into the tab, do this thing, and then this. What am I doing? Carbon nanotubing, I'm assuming. Right? Carbon nanotube, yes. Okay, escape. Finalize installation. A okay, tab to access the multi-tool inventory. Continue installation with this. Ease, carbon nano tools, and we're good. Beautiful. Analyze objects for rewards. Locate your starship. Test the analysis. F. The analysis visor highlights points of interest. Whoa. Target and hold this to analyze. Thief, 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 Interesting. What are you? Oh, that's cool. On the left there, it shows how much time I have until I have critical exposure. That is a V botrostium. Interesting, interesting. I don't know. Ancient data structure. Interesting. Hold E to tag. Okay, we'll tag that. Scan this rock. You. Damaged machinery. Let's tag you. Buried technology module. Let's tag you. Jade peas. Okay, that's enough tagging. Go over here. What are these? Oh, those are the things I tagged. E life support systems at 50%. Well, that's no good. Navigation data. Okay. Navigation data. Okay. Navigation data. Okay. Jade P. Oh, what is this? Gilmalite. Okay. Whatever. Jade peas. Okay. And then spaceships over here. Oh, what are you? Damaged machinery. An unnaturally thick liquid of dubious color. It, its origins are impossible to fathom. Appears to have some mild magnetic properties. Total value. Quick transfer. Quickly send items to other inventories. Discard unwanted ones. Let's do this. 
just happen. Okay, we need to locate the starship. Is that it? Very technical. Oh, that's over. That's way over there. Oh, the U. Uh, F. Oak. Return to the starship and continue repairs. Use the compass and the analysis visor to navigate. Well, I've already done that. And let's go ahead and do, what is it? Where is it? Exosuit, sodium. All right, there we go. What can we actually charge this with? Sodium, sodium nitrate and ion battery. Okay. So it's not really, what are you exactly? You're like a big thing. What are you? Okay, strange. Hazardous flora. Whoa, sir. Which one's hazardous? Oh, it's over here that's hazardous? What is what does it mean when it says hazardous? This guy? What am I getting? 500 what? This is hazardous. Can I just uh, harvest it? Oh, so it's like a trap. Got it. Life support. New guide entry. The life support system allows you to move around the planet. Sprinting and using the jetpack will drain life support power. Oh, I should probably stop running then. Life support systems are recharged with oxygen. Press C will activate the scanner locating nearby oxygen rich plants. Oxygen is found on all worlds. Systems can be recharged from the exosuit inventory or via the quick menu. I should check out the quick menu. Life support can also be recharged with life support gel. Okay, cool. Crafted from dihydrogen, jelly, and carbon. Analysis plants with analysis visor reveals their bonus materials, which often includes oxygen. Harvest these materials with the mining beam. Okay, X for the super fast thing. Okay, uh, so you can... Wait, how do you navigate? Oh, okay. F to select. F to charge. Okay, that's actually nice. Okay, so let me assume that you are damaged machinery. Yes. Let's check out what you've got here. Let's put you in the exosuit. Very good. Oh, did I not get it? Nanites. Uh, what is this? Cargo drop. Health restorative. What are you? This is such a, a, a interesting, interesting game. Atlas pass required. Rude. Okay, fine. Is there anything I can interact with? Damage container. Okay. I don't know if it did anything there, but save and chart. All right. Oyadex Marsh. Navigation data. Okay, so is there anything here that I need to pay attention to? Very technology mod. Ah, oh, doesn't look like it. Interesting. Is there a map? I click M. No. All right, let's get back to our ship. Hello, ship. Let's see. There's all sorts of stuff we can interact with here. Damage container. Okay, we'll do that. Put you back into the suit here. Let's do the damaged machinery. Put you into the suit. Well, very good. Anything else? Okay, this is something I think we can interact with. Oh, we've already interacted with this before. Uh, anything over here? Oh, search. Atlas Pass. Man, what is an Atlas Pass? Oh, let's open this. Condensed carbon. Cool beans. So loud. Interesting. 
Okay, let's repair the pulse engine. This one's gonna probably be a little bit longer of an episode because I'm just prepare, like figuring things out. Tab to access the ship menu, Repul pulse engine, damaged pulse engine. Beautiful. Okay. Vital launch and landing gear system. System is highly damaged and requires dihydrogen jelly and pure ferrite to repair. Construct a portable refiner to process pure ferrite. Yeah. Repair launch thrusters. Dihydrogen jelly. Got it. We have dihydrogen, so we can open the inventory. We can craft the gel. Beautiful jelly. Yummy, yummy. Grease the launch thruster with dihydrogen. Access that through this. And grease it. Cool. Now repair it with pure ferrite. Metal refiner. So we need plating. Okay, this is a pretty in-depth. Uh, pretty in-depth. Okay, construct a portable refiner. Locate oxygen. I already have oxygen, don't I? Or did I use it all? I may have used it all. Ah, uh, you have oxygen, ha ha. Oh, we just pick you up. Beautiful, we now have enough, cool. Okay, now Z for the build menu, portable refiner. Ooh. Just plop that down right there. Portable refiner. Oh, and we can pick it up. Sick. Okay, so input fuel inverter. Uh, collect carbon or condensed carbon. Just put carbon. Input and we need ferrite. Output pure ferrite begin. Ooh, I like this. This is really cool. I hope it was okay that I made like as much as I needed, like all of it. Okay, uh, exoscoot, exoscoot. Fuel inverter, okay, energy. I think we're good. And let's pick this guy up. Oh, so we actually get the stuff back too. Tab inventory. Cool, launch pad and pure ferrite. Gorgeous. Oh, it's so good now. It's all good. Launch systems all in line, all system functional. Return to our ship. All right. Well, I think that's going to be where we leave it off. This is, I think, a good spot to leave. I don't want to be off the planet or anything. And I hope you guys are looking forward to this series. I have truly absolutely no idea what to expect from this. I just think it seems like an interesting game. So hopefully it is. And uh, yeah. If you guys like the video and you're looking forward to more, leave a like on the on the video, of course. And I will see you guys in the next episode of No Man's Sky. Uh, bye bye.